Who is the craziest and most extreme fighter? Who is the first person that comes to your mind when you answer that question? Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Tapia, or maybe even Mike Tyson? What if I told you that there is a boxer that even Iron Mike recognized as a big psycho? Meet Ricardo Mayorga, the most dangerous super welterweight knockout artist of the early thousands. Ricardo was famous for his powerful punches, incredible stamina, and all this he managed to combine with a terrible lifestyle. He allowed himself to smoke in the ring before the fight. During press conferences, he spoke with a bottle of beer, often went on binges and changed women like gloves. And with all this, he constantly showed an unbelievable level of physical preparation. Ricardo never denied himself anything, both in terms of entertainment and statements. Ricardo Mayorga was not just a boxer. He was a living legend who attracted attention not only for his boxing achievements, but also for his wild lifestyle. His fighting style was drenched in aggression and insanity, making his fights real events that were memorable for years to come. Ricardo was not afraid of anyone or anything. He entered the ring with genuine fury and a willingness to destroy his opponent inside the four walls. His power punches were devastating, and his aggressive fighting style made his opponents tremble with fear. But in addition to his athletic movements, Mayorga was also an epic figure. His scandalous actions and provocative statements often caused shock and outrage. He was not afraid to contradict and provoke controversy, which made him an even more attractive figure to the public. Ricardo accomplished many feats in his short but colorful career, but his unpredictability and recklessness will always be remembered. He was a fighter who knew no limits in fear, and his name will always be associated with madness and indomitable passion for boxing. Such is Ricardo Mayorga, a boxer who denied himself everything except his indomitable thirst for victory. And while his short but exciting story has left a deep mark on the boxing world, he will always be remembered as a man who lived by his own rules and never compromised. During the 1970s, Nicaragua was in a state of social and political instability that had a significant impact on crime rates and life in the country. In the face of government suppression and repression, some citizens turned to violence and crime as a means of expressing their unmet needs or protest. Street robberies, house robberies, thefts, and other crimes were widespread. Along with political instability and increased crime, Nicaragua's economic situation was also unfavorable. The country faced high levels of poverty, lack of jobs, and limited opportunities for social mobility. This created an unfavorable environment that contributed to increased crime and difficulties in the daily lives of the population. The hero of our video grew up in such conditions. Even then, he learned the main rule in the land of atrocities from childhood, the strong get everything and the weak get nothing. Ricardo realized that he could only get rich if he became an athlete, and he chose boxing. Because in street fights, he was always known for his knockout punch, and sport was his opportunity to get off the streets. We play hockey in Nicaragua, but we use machetes instead of hockey sticks. Ricardo Mayorga Back in 1993, at a young age, he made his professional boxing debut. Most of us, driven by a thirst for fame and recognition, face obstacles and setbacks in the early stages. Ricardo was no exception. Boxing in Nicaragua and Costa Rica, he suffered several losses. This is a standard situation for many Latin American boxers who, seeking a better life, step into the ring against any opponent despite the risks and little financial support. However, Ricardo Mayorga did not give up. He aspired to greater accomplishments and decided to make a change. In 2001, he moved to the United States of America, a country famous for its boxing opportunities and competitive environment. It was a decisive step in his career. In 2001 to 2002, Ricardo Mayorga faced the unbeaten and talented prospect Andrew Lewis. These bouts became cornerstones in his boxing journey. In the first fight, due to an unfortunate clash of heads, the fight was declared a no contest. However, this did not shatter Mayorga's determination, but only added to his perseverance and toughness. Let's look back at the major episodes of his career to get an even better picture of what kind of character he is. Aside from drinking at training camp and smoking cigarettes at press conferences, Mayorga was very much into trash talking. And in one of the main fights against Forrest, he talked a bunch of sh and promised to knock him out in the first half of the fight. The first round of the confrontation turned out to be quite chaotic and was remembered by an unexpected thing. The favorite of this fight, Vernon Forrest, suddenly fell to the ground. The whole hall was shocked from the unexpected turn of events. The second round was already under the dictation of Vernon, except for the middle, where Ricardo Mayorga again managed to knock Forrest down with a punch to the back of the head using his forearm. 
The referee did not react to this, which made Forrest furious, and he was determined to regain his position after two knockdowns. Ricardo Mayorga, a street fighter with undeniable instincts, could perfectly sense his opponent's fear, confusion, and other mental problems, like a shark that smells blood in the water. Already at this stage, he realized that this fight was in his hands. As a result, he continued to pressure poor Forrest. The viewers were shocked to see such an underdog mercilessly beating the world champion like he was just a kid. Vernon tried to join Ricardo's game of taking punches to the face and started hunting for Mayorga's head, and that was his downfall. In the third round, Forrest was down again, and you could see in his eyes that he was like a child in a stressful situation. The referee noticed this and decided to stop the fight. Thus, Ricardo Mayorga won the victory and became the winner of the Ring Magazine Award for the upset of the year. Six months later, they had a rematch, which became the fight of the year. What the spectators of the arena saw that night was forever marked in their heads. Both fighters came to the ring determined to win. Forrest, tenacious and hungry for a rematch, was ready to show that the loss in the first fight was just an accident. Mayorga, on the other hand, was eager to reassert his superiority and rise even higher. The second fight proved to be a real spectacle filled with unpredictable twists and turns. Both fighters showed courage and were uncompromising in every round. Punches flew in both directions and adrenaline filled the arena. Boxing experts and fans felt the tension that the athletes themselves felt. However, this time the outcome of the fight was slightly different from the first meeting. Vernon Forrest showed determination and hunger for victory, which affected his performance. He was able to control the rhythm of the fight and use his technique to counterattack Mayorga. The bout continued at an exciting pace and each round enthralled the spectators. By the middle of the fight, it was clear that Mayorga was too unpredictable and uncomfortable for Vernon. Forrest was used to technical fighters who used classic techniques, and an opponent like Ricardo, who fought rather than boxed, confused Vernon. He finally snapped mentally due to Mayorga's constant pressure and antics. During the fight, Ricardo constantly missed punches on purpose, showing he didn't care about the damage Forrest was doing. However, towards the end of the fight, Ricardo Mayorga showed his characteristic of a real fighter. He did not give up and fought until the last second. The fight ended with the decision of the majority of judges, as one of them gave a draw in this confrontation. Nevertheless, Mayorga impressed everyone one more time. The audience could not believe that a man who smokes like a locomotive was able to outbury the professional athlete who defeated the best boxer in the world two fights ago. Ricardo became the epitome of character and psychological pressure in the ring. The second fight between Ricardo Mayorga and Vernon Forrest was an incredible fight that surprised and captured the hearts of many. Both fighters proved their strength, stamina, and determination. They showed their true power comes from being unstoppable and believing in yourself. This confrontation became one of the iconic chapters in boxing history, and it left an unforgettable impression on all who saw it. Ricardo Mayorga and Vernon Forrest demonstrated that the sport can reach new heights when fighters face off and give their all in the ring. Over time, Ricardo Mayorga's lifestyle of recklessness and extravagance began to have a negative impact on his career. He faced a succession of wins and losses. The boxing ring hosted him at once with colorful and famous opponents such as Miguel Cotto, Trinidad, and Oscar de la Hoya, and Mayorga lost mercilessly to all three. His physical condition began to fail him and his stamina began to deteriorate. Maintaining weight and continuing to use alcohol became problematic, and even changing weight classes didn't help solve the problems. Despite all these difficulties, Ricardo Mayorga remained true to himself, his lifestyle, and the way he behaved inside the ring. His jaw, which had seemed invincible, was now beginning to fail him and he was susceptible to knockouts. People no longer saw him as the crazy psycho from Nicaragua that they had previously known. For a while, Mayorga resembled a young Robert Duran in his behavior, fighting style, and unfamiliarity with the English language. Thus, during his careers, Ricardo Mayorga faced many challenges related to his lifestyle and bad habits. These bad factors affected his physical condition and abilities in the ring. Despite this, he maintained his uniqueness and style, which remained his hallmark. Mayorga later decided to hang up his gloves, but at the age of 39, this psycho decided to make his debut in MMA, which excited the whole world of sports. It happened at the Omega MMA Battle of the Americas tournament in Nicaragua. Legally, Mayorga won by technical knockout in the second round. However, this fight has raised many questions and misunderstandings. At the weigh-in before the fight, it was clear that Mayorga was overweight by 22 pounds. Despite this, he was allowed to fight. Obviously, no one expected a strong opponent for Mayorga, who was a national hero of Nicaragua. The opponent was a little-known fighter from Canada named Wesley Differ, who had a professional record of 0-1 to to this prior fight. Thus, Mayorga made his MMA debut in his unusual circumstances with an advantage in weight and against a weak opponent. The fight raised doubts and uncomfortable questions about its organization. 
During the fight in the cage, Mayorga found himself in a hold called a triangle. The triangle was a classic takedown behind the trapped arm and was actually securely locked in. In the situation, all Tiffer had to do was squeeze the grip harder and pull Mayorga's arm toward the break. However, for whatever reason, the Canadian did not do so. Taking advantage of this, Mayorga, while in the clinch, landed an illegal knee strike to Tiffer's spine. If Tiffer had slammed the triangle correctly, there would have been no opportunity for Mayorga to land a knee strike. That kick to the spine caused Tiffer to wince in pain and release Mayorga's grip. The referee then stopped the fight. He later lost four more fights and had a 1-4-0 record in MMA. After that, Ricardo finally quit the sport and is now sitting on a well-deserved retirement. His comments on MMA were this. MMA was created by homosexuals to justify these man-hugs they called wrestling. Boxing is for real men. I grew up in the gangster neighborhoods of Managua. We used fists, knives, and machetes in a fight, but we never wallowed with men like homosexuals. Ricardo that's what made Ricardo the public's favorite. He took responsibility for his words, got drunk before a fight, slapped his opponent's wives. He did what he wanted to do, with who he wanted to do it with. He didn't even care about boxing. He just wanted to fight and he did it with great pleasure. Ricardo Mayorga will be remembered in the boxing world as the man who proved that you can make it from the streets to the top without losing the very person you were on those streets, even if not the most pleasant, kind, and adequate. But still, Ricardo was real. There are very few characters like that nowadays. Many use trash talk purely for the sake of promotion of the fight or in an attempt to intimidate their opponent, although they themselves do not believe in their own words. At the same time, Ricardo was cursing at his opponents because he genuinely disliked them. He knew that he would have to answer for the words he spoke. Fighters like Mayorga are not role models, but they show us what we love so much. Each of us has a negative side, and when we look at someone like Ricardo, we see our reflection in his behavior. People loved him and hated him. Thanks for watching. Hit the jab on the like and subscribe button. Bye. See you soon.